and Naraki. The Biden administration will send out more funds for COVID testing to help school districts return to in-person learning. The Department of Health and Human Services announcing Wednesday that $10 billion will be sent out for schools to expand testing for teachers, staff, and students. That's on top of the $122 billion already allocated for K-12 schools in the recently passed COVID relief package. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona also said Wednesday that it's unlikely that the department will make vaccinations for teachers mandatory for reopening. And Ohio's Attorney General is suing the Biden administration over provisions in the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. Attorney General Dave Yost's suit is seeking to block a piece of the bill that restricts the state's ability to use their share of $350 billion allocated for local governments to offset tax cuts. In his filing, Yost called that provision unconstitutional, saying Congress does not have the authority to put those kinds of conditions on funding. This is USA Radio News. Democrats have been talking about changing or getting rid of the filibuster rule since taking control of the chamber. But the Senate Minority Leader refuses to let that happen. I guess where they stand uh, depends on where they sit. Republican Senate Minority Leader from Kentucky Mitch McConnell speaking there on Fox News regarding the filibuster being removed in the Senate. The senator continues. Uh, President Trump tried to get me uh, to orchestrate the elimination of the filibuster for a number of years, even tweeted about it. I said, no, Mr. President, that's not in the best interest of the institution and actually not in your best interest either. I said, said no. That audio, courtesy of Fox News, two Democrat senators also coming out against the filibuster, Senators Kirsten Sinema of Arizona and Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. From the USA Radio News Phoenix Bureau, I'm Tim Berg. And this is USA Radio News. Four people on the terror watch list were apprehended on the southern border. Axios reports that three of those people were from Yemen and another was from Serbia. Former acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf says there are more concerns for border agents than just people on the terror watch list. He tells Fox News that watching for other persons of interest are also part of the national security responsibilities of the Border Patrol. So it's not, again, not only terrorist or known or suspected terrorists, what we call KSTs, But it's also, there's another group called special interest aliens, and these are individuals that have traffic patterns like terrorists, perhaps are not on a watch list, uh, but come from Europe or Africa or Asia into South America and make their way up through Central America and Mexico to that border uh, that law enforcement needs to be concerned with. But at the end of the day, I think what's probably most concerning is that because of the number of individuals that are crossing, we're having to pull Border Patrol off of their national security mission and into their Border Patrol stations to care and feed these number of individuals instead of being right. on the line doing that homeland security, national security mission that they're trained to do. And the CDC says that new strains of coronavirus first identified in California are now variants of concern. Early research shows the variants are about 20 percent more transmissible than the original virus. But the CDC added that more research into the variants is needed to see if the vaccine's effectiveness decreases against these strains. For USA Radio.